everyone, Chaos in the Sky here, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. I'm going to be doing the single player of this, and if I can convince Samuel to come over sometime and play some of the co-op with me, I'll do that too, because apparently there's new stuff in co-op that's supposed to be really good. I'm kind of hoping that if I just don't click anything for a while, it'll play the little starting intro again, because the intro was really cool, as it tends to be. Oh, wait. Whichever team that gets the most points in score battle wins. You can get more points if you defeat high battle score opponents. I didn't click anything, so I hope it's loading up that title sequence again, the little opening video. In normal battle, the team to lose their entire... their entire... Blah! The team to lose their entire retries first loses. The key to winning is to have a well-balanced team. Interesting. Interesting. In Battle Royale, everyone is your rival. Defeat all your rivals. Oh, nope, it's not going to play it again. It's just going to show a random fight between what appears to be Majin Vegeta, Android 16, Bills, and a Cyberman. And I think I saw Team Gohan. And there's Krillin getting punched by Vegeta and flying the complete wrong way. And there's Kid Buu. There's Bills again. There's Team Gohan. There he is. Anyways... It doesn't look like... There's Android 16 again. And random Cyberman. It doesn't look like it's going to play that opening sequence again, sadly. Just, you know, look it up if you really want to see it. It was pretty cool. It was just a short little thing with the Dragon Ball Z song... Bleh, Dragon Ball Z song... What's it called? I don't remember what it's called. It's a really good one. Uh, I don't want to sound in a PlayStation Network. I don't even know if I have my PlayStation Network ID set up. I'm playing this on my PlayStation 3. I know it's on Xbox 360, too. I don't know if it was released on next-gen consoles like the PS4 and all. They've also got this cool other little thing where it's like got Goku asking for the energy of the planet. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I guess that means like the amount of people playing or currently playing or who have played or something like that. I don't know. It looks interesting, though. I mean, that's not how the Spirit Bomb works. It doesn't send energy back like what it appears to be doing, but... It's a cool little thing. I already saw this little title screen because I had to come in and do, like, right, left, right, left to make sure my voice was synced up for the recording. I always do that at the start of all my recordings so I can sync the audio because my audio and my video are two separate things that I have to put together. Co-op mode, it doesn't even let me play. It doesn't let me go into battle mode either. Probably because I'm not signed in. Well, co-op is probably I just haven't unlocked it. And battle mode is probably because I haven't signed into my PlayStation Network. It says down there, World Energy is at 10,000, so I have no idea what World Energy does. I can see a lot of words coming up next to those, like, energy beams back there, going into the planet and coming out of it, but it's going a little too fast for me to read. I'd have to pause. I'd, like, have to look at the video of this and pause the screen to see. We're just gonna go right... right. Bleh! I can't talk, man. I just can't. I just can't. We're going right into single player. Welcome to single player! Welcome! This is where you can play single player missions. First, choose the mission and press start to begin. Oh. This is interesting. This isn't how the last few Dragon Ball Z games have been set up, if I remember correctly. The last Dragon Ball Z game that I really played was Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for the Wii. And there was also another game... What was it called? I got it for my PlayStation... No, I got it for my Xbox 360. And I don't remember what it was called. I need to readjust my mic a bit. I don't remember what it was called, but it was the newest one before this one came out. And, oh man, I'm trying my best to remember it. I think it was Ultimate Tenkaichi, or something similar to that. And I played, like, the little single-player mission where you could make your own character, which was amazing. I really liked making my own person and getting stuff like Piccolo's cape for him. I'll probably record that sometime, too. And I didn't really play the, um, the actual story mode of that. That's pretty much all I played on that. I need to go back to that. Maybe I can record that sometime. Beginning of battle. Wasteland. Clear condition. Conditions destroy all enemies. It's in the Saiyan Saga. Look, they've got the Saiyan Saga down there. So let's... Let me go ahead and try and predict some stuff. It appears that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven slots for sagas. So the Saiyan Saga, the, um... The Frieza Saga. Sometimes they split up, like, the Ginyu Force Saga, the Namek Saga, the Frieza Saga... I pretty much put them all into one. Saiyan Saga is Raditz to Vegeta. Um, Frieza Saga is from beating Vegeta to... Or after you've beaten Vegeta to beating Frieza. Cell Saga is all of the androids. Like, from when Trunks shows up and kills Frieza to... Um, beating Cell. Majin Buu Saga is this great Saiyan Man stuff all the way to beating Buu and so on and so forth. They sometimes do it differently, but it looks like... 
apparently we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or or like four, and then three different possible ones. I don't know. Let's just get into mission one and see how it goes. Am I Goku? I'm Goku. I have no Dragon Ball points and I have no premium points. Interesting. I have no idea what any of these things do. Oh, I have to go over here and press start. Would you like to start the mission? Yes, please. I need to get a better mic. That's something I've been planning on doing. Welcome to the start of some heated battles. I will be rooting for you. Okay. Thanks, Master Roshi. If you equip the Cyborg Guard card, you'll be able to auto-guard. I didn't get to read all of that. This is pretty nice graphics so far. I'm hoping the game doesn't get too loud to where my mic picks it up, and then also the video picks it up, because that probably wouldn't sound well. Battle start. I have no idea... It feels like it's coming from around here. It's faint. Well, I might as well get some training in while I search the area. Whoa, okay. L2 is Kaioken. Use left stick for normal movement. Press square plus X while moving to do a dash move. Control information is based on the default controls. How do I go down? That's apparently attacking. X to go down. think I'll scope the area from the sky using my flight team. Hold down square to ascend, hold down X while in the air to descend. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. Feel a bad power coming from over there. It won't like let me on radar the blue icon is the player, the red icon is the enemy. Use the radar to find enemies. So this is like a little more like wide world, I guess. It doesn't like in Tenkaichi 3 you could Whoa, that was Kaioken. I keep pressing L2 thinking it's charge. What's charge? How do I charge my energy? That's not charge. Whoa, hey, Cybermen. They're blue. So these guys were the source of the power. I get rid of so I guess we're using these blue Cybermen as a way to... Start. Okay, R1 to lock on. Good, good. R1 again to unlock. And use right stick to change target. I'm just going to keep beating the crap out of the Cybermen. Press triangle to do melee and circle to do ranged key blast. Hold down one to guard to block enemy attacks. Okay. Boom. Get out of here, Cybermen. You've got nothing on me. I can't, like, just jump. I have to fly or descend. It won't let me just, like, jump off the air really quick. Like I'd like to. The right stick is used to move around the camera, though. I like that. I should lock on. Oh, get out of here, Cyberman. I might be changing these controls up later on my own time. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about them. Mainly because whenever I play Dragon Ball Z games, I instantly go to, um... Uh... Tenkaichi 3 controls in my mind. How do I, like, charge up and use Kamehameha? It was really stupid how you use stuff in... Not stupid, just, you know, really different and a little annoying. Because it was just such a drastic change from what it had always been from in the last game I played, which was... I'm not locked on. What was it called? Jeez, I've already forgotten the name again. Like, Tin Ultimate Tin Tenkaichi or whatever it was called. The one where it was like the first one where you could make your own Dragon Ball Z character. And, uh... It was like a little annoying to you. More enemy reinforcements. How many of these things did Nappa plant? Press either L2 or R2 to activate each character's unique move. Well, I already know L2 is Kaioken. Kaioken! Pretty cool. What's R2? Oh, it's that. Get back here. <laughs> nice little falling animation. Finally, I can go home and stuff myself full of cheat cheat cookies. Sweet, let's go get some food. She better have dinner ready. Whee! Not gonna question the fact that those Cybermen apparently came out of nowhere. Okay, my mission is complete, so now what? Is it just... Oh, it's just taking its time. Clear score, 800... Or 18... No, 182,000, if I could read correctly. 24,000 battle score. I got an SS rank. I'm pretty sure that's good. Link bonus none, special bonus 5,000. Oh, I'm so good. I gained... 6,000 DP. I like it. My player rank went up. I'm level 2. 
Sweet, there's player ranks now. Cards acquired. Plus 10 question mark, plus 10 fist, plus 15 question mark. Interesting. Card collection command has been unlocked. Command has been unlocked. So I guess that this is like in Tenkaichi 3, like the cards are the new way you pump up your character, because I remember you could, like, buy little boosts for, like, attack and stuff and customize your character for different setups, like better energy attack, better charging time, better defense and stuff. Card collection has been unlocked. Ah, it looks like you've got a, gotten a card. Check the card you got at card collection. Just having the card won't do anything. Be sure to equip the card it customized in the character info. Yep. It is what I thought. You can view your battle record at play log. Knowing oneself is part of training too. So can I, like, later on change stuff like... Can I, like, change Kaioken out for Kamehameha and whatnot? Card collection. Where are the cards I got? Oh, right here. Boost special abilities. Interesting. Required rank 3. I'm not rank 3 yet. Boosts melee attacks. Okay, can I, like, uh, can I equip this to Goku? How do I equip this? Display unlock only. Display unlock only. That's all I want displayed. Okay. Select. Now, how do I... How do I go about equipping this? Select a mission first to select a character. Character info. There we go. Customize. Sweet. So let me just slap that plus ten on you, and then... I can't put that on, but I can slap on this special one to you. Sweet! So I imagine different characters have different stuff, like Goku has four melee slots, but then, like, only two special slots, and then, like, Vegeta will have... I don't know what he'll have, but just... He, like, may have, like, four energy slots and only two melee slots, I imagine is how this works. I don't know what Vegeta will actually have, but... I imagine it's something similar to that. Okay. So now I just choose a mission, right? Mission 2, a mysterious enemy. This is probably Raditz. Am I Krillin? No, I think it'll let me select Krillin. No, I'm Goku. Start! Would you like to start? Yes, I would. This is interesting. They've really started changing stuff up after Ultimate Tenkaichi came out. I don't know if any came out in between Ultimate Tenkaichi and Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, but the one that I played the most was Budokai Tenkaichi 3, and then I got Ultimate Tenkaichi, I think it's what it's called, and it was just really, really different, the way they did it, and this one seems really, really different, because, like, all of the Budokai, Budokai 3, Budokai Tenkaichi, and Budokai Tenkaichi 3 were all really similar to each other, and then, like, this one and Ultimate Tenkaichi are really different in the way that they run the story mode and all. More blue Cybermen. Why are they blue? What are those Ow, they shot me. I'm coming for you. Try to get me from behind, please. Clear the area of these monsters. Let's do this, Krillin! Basically just there in case I need you to die so I can go Super Saiyan. I've got everything else. But I mean, if someone actually powerful shows up, then I'm going to need you to die so that I can go Super Saiyan. I'm coming for you! Come back here. Nope, nope, nope. Not getting away. Punch in the butt. Oh, right in this guy. Oh, he turned around. He didn't want it in the butt anymore. Boom. Krillin, you're not doing anything. Let's be honest. Hey, it's green! Come here! You... Come here! Stop running! Whoa! Energy Blast just flew by me a second ago. Can I, like, not rapid-fire Energy Blasts? Ow! Kaioken! Again. Do I, like, have an Energy Meteor? Or, Meteor? An Energy Meter that shows my... How much it takes to use Kaioken, or can I just spam it? Oh, no, that little blue thing down next to my health went down. Okay. This game is certainly going to take a little getting used to. Yeah, the blue meter goes down. Ow. Ow! What's that energy meter up there that's slowly building up? Is that how I use stuff like the Kamehameha Wave? Ow. Ow! 